All right, it's another garden video. Let's see what's going on in the garden. So right here, we've got um, our Russian sage. Cat mint has already grown fully, so I cut it all back and it's growing again. The real dazzlers right now are the white uh, cone flowers and the echinops, the little purple balls here. They're some of my favorites. Actually, both of these are some of my favorites. So cool to see those popping off. Yarrow sort of working its way out. All these grasses are coming back in nicely. Nice to see all this uh, little blue stem kind of popping up along the edge here. But yeah, look at all these. Um, I guess this is a Rengium sea holly. But yeah, Mexican feather grasses are looking as feathery as ever. So pretty. Our uh, alliums are about to start flowering soon. We're still a little early on that, but that's happening. And we're going to this way first. So again, more of the alliums coming in. More of the sedum popping up. Let's walk over here. Uh, oh, check this out. Northern sea oats are starting to flower a bit, or you know, make their little sea oat. The false sorberia, or the sorberia, is um, in a seeding fruiting stage and produce one of those. So it's little seed heads. Um, did I, oh man, I missed all the flowers. I don't think I showed a single flower of this this year. Well, if I have any flower footage, I'll put that in now. Um, oh, I've got the mint growing here. I tried reseeding this with some uh, legume type plants, some clovers. We'll see how that goes. Uh, my little lavender section over here is just doing fantastic. Big fan of lavender. I would certainly plant more lavender again if given the chance. Uh, we did get a few volunteer interesting things i got some uh well one a wild dill and a uh what was butterfly weed that popped up on its own i think i still have another butterfly weed in bloom that i'll show you and then a bunch of these um evening primrose which the goldfinches really like i got some things that were in here some coral bells that i took out uh and you'll see where they are but i'm trying to plant some more wildflower seed in here so we'll see what happens we'll see what happens um, erica's garden you know we haven't been working it too hard it, it kind of needs an, a, a break um but the lettuces were doing really well this year uh these cucumbers came back we had our peas and they're gone all these alliums are looking beautiful this little rosemary um mm, smells good yeah everything's gonna hang in there we are getting some uh tomatoes that are very ripe um there's a little dill watermelon um but you know we're gonna be going on vacation for a week and so this is probably all gonna fall by the wayside while we're gone let's just check out a few things up here so i did have all that coreopsis and i already kind of cut it back and it's seeded and i'm hoping that it will reseed and grow some new plants um but yeah in the meantime it's just getting kind of messy Hydrangea, you know, we got like one little flower here, but yeah, you know, it's a little guy. Got this little um, guy as well. Oh yeah, there's my beautiful butterfly milkweed. I'm so happy that this popped up. Very happy to see it. And uh, yeah, hopefully that'll produce some more seeds. Um, is there anything else up here I wanted to show you? I mean, there's not a whole lot going on here. It's just a... Uh, same kind of garden, you know, the goldenrod is coming in really well. These grasses even put out a little seed head. Um, yeah, not a ton of ship here. But uh, I do have some interesting things, which is that my parents sent me a coconut and we were trying desperately to get it to root. So um, fingers crossed there. And of course we've got some uh, clematis that we have trained all around here to bring some nice fall blooms late summer blooms all right let's work our way to the back real quick um so on the side here uh yeah i did put the coral bells back here where it's a little shadier next to the geranium because they have similar foliage yeah it's not looking great because of all the burnt 
Um, and I think there's some insects eating it now. Great. But I think it is a little bit happier. I think of the long... Yeah, there's definitely something eating it. Um, but that's fine. We'll just keep watering it. I think it's happier. We'll just see what happens. More hydrangeas, never flowered. Um, our little strawberries are doing just fine. They're quite happy. Um, this is like a wild strawberry. I don't have any intention of eating these. These are just to sort of spread and do its own thing. So backyard. Let's get over here. So we do have, let's see, oh, we got this. Hibiscus or the, what do they call this one? Um, Rose of Sharon. Oh, it's covered with bees right now. Wow, lots of bees. And got some lilies in the back. Um, this is mostly evening primrose. And I've got my little stand of milkweeds over here, which none of these ones really flowered. Um, I did get flowers on this one. And I did also get seed pods for these. So that's cool to see. And I don't know if we got any monarch eggs. I saw some monarch eggs at uh, the park, but uh, yeah, nothing here. That's okay. Just keep it hanging around. Um, compost. Got our squash coming in still. Um, and it looks all right. Oh, is there a big flower back there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So um, we'll let that keep going. A little pokeweed for fun. Some little tomatoes are growing. Uh, and what else? Um, my giant spiky lettuce. I mean, this is just whatever um but the real treat i haven't shown you this yet is the volunteer sunflower that is now oh my gosh i mean it's like what eight feet tall or something like that i don't know it's as tall as this and like all the sunflowers covered with bees it gets the benches over here i mean i love sunflowers and i was so happy to find that it was growing between the cracks of this little uh, walkway here. Um, yeah, beautiful sunflower. And so that is your uh, late July report on the garden. I hope you enjoyed and maybe there'll be another one this summer. So stay tuned. Bye folks.